Hi, I'm Eugene Kappa, this is Kappa Design TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at, at this amazing heat distortion plugin made by Video Copilot. Uh, they recently hooked me up with a couple of free assets, and this happened to be one of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up After Effects. If you you can follow along, if you happen to have the plugin, if not, and you're just looking to see what it does, this is the perfect video for you. So I went ahead and grabbed this image of Ryu from Street Fighter. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a fan. And what if I had this static image and I wanted to make it look like um, energy was just kind of flowing off from where his hands are doing um, his move, the Hadouken. Basically, this entire plugin is very simple. You just get your image that you want to make look like there's either heat or energy or um, some sort of distortion effect going on and you just go over to effects and presets Type in heat. You'll see it right under the video copilot tab and you just drag and drop it Now right away you can actually see the change things are creating the little wavy things and you know, it's it's all the distortion is actually rising just like heat would, which is, you know, great. But say, say you didn't want the heat distortion to affect the entire image. I mean, normally what you would do with a plugin is you would duplicate the layer and then you would use the mask tool to take the image and shrink it down or just um, to basically to show just that one section and then you would feather it and much like it so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to click on the layer and right away you'll notice that it didn't mask out the entire image but it only masked out the plugin and that's actually one of the features of the plugin. Now you can go down to mask and you can feather it a little bit so it doesn't look so edgy, I guess, is what you would say. So you'll see that it's only affecting that small area without affecting the image right behind. Now, if we happen to get rid of the plugin and cut the mask, you'll see that it goes back and it masks everything but with the plugin it just it's just limited to that one little area now normally if we wanted this effect uh, we'd have to do a bunch of things um, one we'd have to put up an adjustment layer uh, you'd have to add uh, a distortion map to it and then you would have to get um, some sort of either particle effect or you'd have to get some noise filter on another layer to tie it to the displacement map and then you'd have to go and um, mask it out to the area that you want uh, the distortion and this plugin just eliminates having to do all those steps and if we go over into the effects control you can you can um, see that if it's if it's just like very smoky or if you're trying to get like a fire um, you can mess with the amount of distortion the heat amount the heat bias the noise scale uh, the noise speed maybe you want it like super fast yeah right um, and then you can also just limit it to different aspects like if you just want the heat or you just want the displacement map or you just want to see the noise pattern even there you go but if I was ever making like a Street Fighter motion animatic this is probably the uh, the plugin that I would use to help create those power effects so if this looks like a plugin that you might actually purchase I went ahead and put a link in the description to their website um, I'm there quite often when I'm doing after Effects or Element Projects. 
Um, they got an awesome forum and a community growing around them. I'd check that out too if you're up to it. Anyway, if you learned something, hit the like button. If you want to follow my journey into After Effects or you just want to learn more VFX or either motion design, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't hurt you. It helps me and it helps show people that I'm making worthy content worthy of your time. Anyway, I'm Eugene. This is Cap'n Design TV. I'll see you in the next video.